Here we are, working out in the eBay room, doing reps. We're doing our reps. So you got to get the reps done. And the only thing that's going to happen when getting reps done is you're going to have uh, backlash on your sales <laughs> sometimes. You're going to backlash reps. Um, the reps that bite back. <laughs> um, so let's get into the video. So here we are. We're talking about Karen. Everyone knows Karen. I mean, everyone likes a good old Karen, right? So, Karen videos. Basically, the cribbage board. Not a lot of people know about the cribbage board. Some people know about the cribbage board. So, here we go. The cribbage board story. <laughs> the cribbage board return attempt. Um, with a negative feedback of extortion on eBay. Um, so, with eBay, having an eBay uh, store, you are going to be extorted or at least try to be extorted money from you within your items. Um, the bigger, I think the bigger you get it sometimes, I, I think, I think the extortion more starts to come. And I always thought it would be like the smaller sellers being extorted. Um, I think the smaller sellers are usually just, uh, preyed upon, uh, putting up good items for cheap. Like they don't know what they're doing and people sniping them. Extortion. That's going to happen. Um, basic extortion through eBay. Uh, a anyone can do this. This is not advocate video of how to extort because you will get, you will get caught and you might get suspended you might get your account taken away it's all things that can happen to anyone that's going to try to extort a seller on ebay or even extort the buyer extortion just doesn't doesn't work um it doesn't work ever but it takes a little while to get the um claim pushed through so you will be stuck with your negative feedback for a little while with a negative feedback you are going to have a dip i had a dip I have a dip every time I get a negative feedback. It happens. And usually the negative feedbacks come in within the buyer buying something within an extortion tactic after because they don't like it and they just don't want to pay for the return shipping. So they come in and they ask for a better price, but knowing that they don't want to pay the return shipping, they want the item, but they want it cheaper. And usually the tactic is to tell them that you want you want the item cheaper basically a uh, um bad extortionist will literally say um that they're gonna leave negative feedback um which that you can't do that's you just can't do that um on ebay it's a lot of people probably don't talk about this because they probably don't want this info getting out where other people can extort but within the extortion, you, you, you get monitored, your account gets monitored. This, there's all kinds of things that can happen. Um, I'm sure they're not overly proactive on it and it counts on the, uh, seller to be proactive in um, reporting the buyers and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, eBay, it's kind of like, you know, it's not the wild west, but I mean, you know, when you're selling this kind of stuff, it does become a little bit of a wild west, you know, it, if you convert to a paper store, it's not as, um, invadable, I guess. So keep that in mind, what, what you want to sell electronics, definitely you're going to get invaded collectibles, mm, stuff like that. So moving on cribbage board. I cleaned it, took, I think, 12 photos of it. So we have 12 photos of a rectangular shaped item. Um, I didn't like overly clean it. I just like cleaned it regular. I cleaned it like all the other ones that I cleaned. So we're gonna go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Here we go. Yeah, crap everywhere. Pardon my Frenchies. Yeah, stuff. Stuff for days. All right. So we come over here. Okay. That's the heater. Good thing it turned out. All right. So here's the other cribbage boards I listed. I already sold two. Two. 
Um, they're all from a barn. They were all in a barn. Um, I cleaned them. I mean, this is as clean as it was getting. But for some weird reason, I didn't want to clean this other one, you know. And I explained that to eBay. I said I did a, a batch of cribbage boards on, on a time, if you want to check that. And they were all listed at the same time um, because they all cleaned them at the same time. And, uh, yeah, you guys can look into that. Now, keep in mind, this took me six phone calls to get through to this. Um, six times reporting this to actually get this negative feedback removed. So you really need to be proactive on stuff like that. Um, This stuff is going to happen. It's going to be inevitable. It happens to everybody. Um, so, within the extortion tactic, it was pretty basic, but I pretty much had to explain myself, like, six times. <laughs> six times. Uh, six hours invested into getting one negative feedback removed. So that's a lot of work. Um, the store did have a good up sale after. So, I mean, you know, you got to balance out your time with something like that. Um, if you just feel that it's wrong, like, I mean, extortion. Just, so what happened? <laughs> you know, like five minutes in. Well, what really happened, though? So basically she said that she wanted money off of $21 plus her shipping. So, I mean, I don't, when somebody comes in and they ask for money off, it's like, I don't, I don't know. What do you want me to just rip a number out of my butt and let you, let you know how much I'm going to refund you? Like you need to, you need to literally ask, what do you want? A dollar? 10 cents? All right, I'll, re I'll refund you 10 cents. How about that? Is that is that what you want me to say? <laughs> Fine, you get a full refund. Keep it. Just like what? You know? So they literally, you need to lit have them literally tell you what they want in a refund. Like, um, also by like, if you have these confrontations with these people, um, while you're selling, you're best to just ask questions with them. That's not going to, uh, incriminate you in any way. Um, not that you're trying to be shady or anything. You just, just know how to cover your ass a little bit because they use them, whatever you say against you. So therefore you need to use everything that they say against them. Basically that, but that's what boils down to it. Um, the uh, message board is like your only lifeline to like anything being logged on there, you know? Um, so beyond, beyond the cribbage board, it, we did get the negative feedback removed. It took about a week or two and a lot of patient phone calling and all the people that I talked to definitely agreed with me what, what, what was going on. Like I was just being extorted it is what it is. Um, you know, she could have, she could have returned it. Um, the problem I had with it was she used, um, part refund within, um, the extortion tactic of negative feedback at the same time within the same message. I didn't like that. If she asked for some part refund where she wasn't happy with it and she didn't want to return it because she still liked it, but she was willing to clean it and put a little effort into it. I mean, maybe I would have refunded something. Maybe. But because she used it in like the same message, that just felt like that was rude. So I was like, I'm not having that. Nope. 
fought that one tooth and nail. Um, you should too. Uh, whether or not you got it out of a freaking bond that was who knows what was going on in the bond. I don't know. I didn't live in the bond, so I don't know what's going on in the bond. I mean, come on. <laughs> Where has this been? I don't. It's been in a bond. What do you want from me? Literally, I think I said it was a barn find. I mean, I might have. I might not have, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, beyond that, that's what we have. It's the extortion part. Can't let that happen. <laughs> um, and keep in mind, when you know, when you're selling something that's this, you know, like, I mean, the, the photos dictate everything. So, I mean, you just got to take literally the best photos you can. Like, if I was taking a picture of this... I would probably, because it has some nicks and scuffs, I would probably take a ton of photos of it. T 12, totally. And anywhere that I felt like I didn't like anywhere about it, I'd use the red pet, like the red, you know, like, you know, highlighting kind of the most I could on the picture with uh, this. Um, and that's it, you know. So, um, being as descriptive as you can, um, is good, but when it comes to the description, you don't need to tell no story, all right, you don't need to tell where it's been, you, you don't need to tell what's possibly touched it, you, know, <laughs> you don't need to tell, uh, how much dirt you cleaned off of it, you don't need to tell any of that, like, it's a freaking item, um, Keep in mind, when you're doing like a, a salvage yard sale type flea market type clean out type material, that's what you're going to get. Like, that's the stuff that you're going to, like, that's the stuff you got. So, that's the video, you know, extortion. Don't, don't settle for any of it. <laughs> All right, so, I don't know. If you guys like that one, um, I guess come back. We'll do another uh, extortion video. Uh, plenty of those. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Peace.